Uh, in this part, we're going to start pulling a few more pockets in the guitar body, and we'll take away the 2D drawing. And the first thing I see is that we have, I haven't quite finished trimming this part here, so T for trim. That's better. Now we're going to pull these pockets in now. So we'll set the pull tool. Now we we'll see that there's something wrong here. It's not selecting that uh, pocket on its own. It's not selecting any pockets on its own. So what's going on? Uh, probably what's happening is that it, this is leaking, what I call leaking. It's not properly closed. So up here, this isn't joined up properly at this end and that is leaking out. So I'm just going to close this by choosing the sweep arc from the well, we have to choose the surface first, that's it. We choose the center, and then from there around to that point, then a line from there and from there. Escape. Now we may be able to start pulling. Yes, there we are. <clears throat> So now we can choose our various parts, our various pockets. Now going back to the drawing, looking at down here, this part is, a th I think that's 0.63, I think that's a 3, not a 5. Then there's an extra 0.25 here for this part we're going to pull now, so 0.68, we'll say. So I'm going to pull, get rid of the drawing, I'm going to pull this part to 0.68. So that's one part of it, now down here, we need to select control, select that bit. Now we're going to pull this down to 0.68 point. No, that's wrong. Point 0.85. And the rest of this, that bit there, the control on that and that 0 0.63 0 0.63 uh, now this part here over here it's this pocket here which is 1 1.5 1.5 and we see on this drawing got re this rectangle and some dotted lines around here so it would appear that this cutout goes right through the body and is recessed from the back up to that point there so we're just going to go right through the body whilst we're working on this side then we'll trim it back when we do the other side of the guitar body so we're going to get rid of that and pull this right through
there's a little bit of spurious line remaining there so we'll get rid of that delete uh -huh. so now this is what we've got and we'll compare it with a drawing I've taken off guitar headquarters now does that look a little bit like that and the one that goes right through is of course hidden by the gubbins here so that looks okay now what remains for us to do is to put this clever little cut out here so there's several curves have to connect each other accurately to get this shape for the angled microphone jack so we'll do that in the next part which will be part six